So before we get this video started, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload new content. And of course, give this video a thumbs up right now. The Hitchhiker's Guide to Releasing Music Business course is geared to show you exactly how to register, release, and promote your music. All you guys have to do is head over to registermysongs.com, sign up for our course, create your account, and log in so that you can keep track of your progress. All right, so this is how you are going to retarget people who have already engaged with your content, right? So for instance, I have my hyperfollow link that DistroKid created for me, all right? So let me go to my hyperfollow link. Here's the link right here. What I wanna do is, I want to retarget ads to anybody who has saw this link. And the reason why this is the link is because this is the single link that I've been sending out to promote my album, right? So how do we extract all of that data from this link? Well, luckily, DistroKid allows you to embed your pixel for ads tracking. And so that's what I have in there. And so now what I wanna go do is I want to create a custom audience, right? And the source for that audience is the website. The website is, uh, what is it? Agobanique. So we're gonna do Agobanique Music Ads Distro Kid, the breakup pack. All right, so we're gonna do the breakup pack. All websites, audience name. We're gonna do uh, Distro Kid Hyper Lake. All right, so we're gonna do 300, let's see if we can do 365 days. All right, we're gonna do 180. So all website viewers. So the source is the digital kid, the breakup pack. So before we go to the source, let me show you guys what source means. So let's go to events manager. Actually, I'm gonna go to all business tools. All right. So here are my data sets, right? So my first data set is this show kid, the breakup pack, because that's the album that we have been promoting. So you see this number right here, 7417. Uh, in 7743, that's the number that we should have here, 7743, right? So that is the distro kid, the breakup pack. That's the source that you see here. Now, all website visitors, and then this is the distro kid hyperlink, right? And so now we're going to create audience. And so now I'm gonna hit done. And what happens is this distro kid hyperlink has seen over 1000 people. So now I can target all those people that has been on that page for the last 180 days. I also have all the people from my Facebook page and all the people from my Instagram page. But I also want to create another audience because I also have people who watch my video. I also have people that came personally from my website. So wherever you have people gathering, you want to be able to retarget them with that information that you have for them. So create those audiences, all right? So now what I wanna do is I want to create a ad with this audience, right? 
So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to ads manager. If you don't have an ads manager account, make sure you get an ads manager account. So I am under the Agobani music ads. The reason why I'm under this ads account is because I'm promoting my music. I'm not promoting my course or my clothing. So I'm going to hit create. Again, anytime you are creating retarget ads, ads for people, you're going to always do a traffic ad and just hit recommend settings. Now, people say ads are dead in 2020, whatever, but me personally, I get success from running ads. Um, I get a lot of success from running ads. I haven't made money from running ads except for probably 30 bucks, but for the most part, I get success running ads. So the first thing that's going to help you is understanding what you're selling versus what you're trying to get. If you have a product that's $10, you want to you want to spend at least $60, $70 running an ad so that you can make money. You don't want to try to spend 2 $3 on an ad and think that you're going to make money on that book. So, like, for me personally, I'm not trying to sell anything with my ads. So, I'm going to actually, I'm trying to get people to click on it. So, mine's is actually more expensive than if you was trying to sell something. So, I'm going to do a $150 ad, right? And we're going to do a lifetime budget. So whenever you do this, always choose your lifetime budget so that they distribute the money for your ad the way that they best see fit. So they'll pick like the best days where you get the most traffic and things like that. All right. So now I'm going to hit next because the only thing I really want to change on that page is my budget. Now I'm going to do... Uh, where I'm gonna target my ad to, right? So this is important. This part of it is important. So the website, that's the conversion location. Send traffic to your website, right? Maximum clicks. You Now you need to know how long you want your ad to run. So for $150, you even want your ad to run for a week, two weeks, a month. So I usually do one month when I'm doing a $150 ad, if I'm just testing it out. Now, if I know that the ad is gonna perform, then I'll probably run it for a week. But run the ad for at least three days before you tell yourself it's not performing because it's not really gonna perform within the first three days. And it's gonna look like you're spending a lot of money, but you're really not. All right, so the next thing is the audience. So what you wanna do is, and you want to get the right audience on your thing. So instead of you going here and typing in like, oh, United States and what age you want the audience to be, right? You're going to come do audience suggestion. And then you're going to click in this box right here where it says search existing audiences. And you're gonna click on these audiences that you ooh, you're gonna click on these audience that you that you have created. So for instance, Instagram, it says Facebook is below 1,000, right? But the Instagram audience says that it's come on bro. Why did I do this? The Instagram audience say it's between 68 to 1,000. There you go. I don't know. That shit acting weird. Hold on. All right, boom. So the Instagram audience says that it's between 6,800 to 8,000, right? So, of course, we want to promote to the Instagram audience. Um, the Facebook audience hasn't really panned out to do anything. And then we got our distro kid hyperlink audience. So let's go ahead and promote our content to our Instagram engaged audience, our hyper follow, and then also our um, Instagram. So we got a decent amount of people that we want to retarget our ad to. Now, again, this is a retarget ad. This is not a acquire leads. You're not trying to get new content. I mean, you're not trying to get new customers. You're trying to retarget older customers. 
So you got to think of the type of content that you can send to your customers that already know you exist. So in my case, I would send something, not another song, because again, they, they already know that I got the songs. So let's see if there's anything else that I can let them know about that's interesting. So what else? What else? So maybe I can promote maybe one of my pictures just to let them see me stunting. Uh, maybe I can. So this is a this is a good one. Let's promote the one where we got three thousand people looking at it. So it says three thousand people listening to me on Spotify. This means my promotion is working, and I'm proud of myself. I. Right? So now I got a good ad that I can promote. This ad might get people excited. This ad might get people talking. Different things like that, right? But but what's the point of this ad if I don't know where to take them to, right? So where should I take them? Where should I should I take them to my website? Should I take them to my Instagram page? No. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them right back to my hyper follow page. The reason why I'm gonna take them back to the hyper follow because just because they interacted with my Instagram page doesn't mean that they listened to the project. So now I have to create a retargeting ad to actually get them to listen to the project. So now we are gonna go and get them to listen to the project. So the first thing we do right here, this is a, we gonna rename this. This is a $150 campaign. All right, this is a $150 campaign, existing posts, um, screenshot. All right. What is this? This is a. All right. So this is the th screenshot of 3K. So this is uh, what is this? This is my audience. So we just gonna put 150 audience, and then this is the. 3K IG existing post. All right, so that's what this ad is called. We are gonna go ahead and set it up and then I'm gonna hit publish. And then I'm gonna check back in three days to see how this ad is performing. And if this ad is performing well, then we'll go ahead and keep and allow that ad to run. If you want to learn how to protect your music, head over to registermysongs.com, download a copy of The Hitchhiker's Guide to Releasing Music. In this book, I show you step by step how to register and release your music like a major record company. So use the link in the description right now and download your copy today.